I don't know about you, but too many people complain about one main thing about this suit, and that's the material being too long to the waist. One of the things that easily fixes this, Velcro. Velcro is so important to this costume, you have no idea, because Velcro keeps the shape of the suit. In fact, Velcro is used on almost every part of this costume, but in this case, we're just going to apply it like so, and place it firmly down. And we're gonna do this all the way around the waist. Because then suddenly, you have a defining line where your belt can go. So even if you're using the Coast Play Sky accessories like the belt and the harness, it doesn't look so bad. While the cameras can't pick it up, it's also very clear to put it on the back as well and firmly secure. Now you say, how will I zip my jacket? Well, this is the only part you put a light layer of Velcro on so you can actually seal your jacket up. Now Velcro is an integral part of this costume. Um, for example, to keep the wings in place on the back of the suit, you should Velcro it underneath. The reason why is if you need to adjust this suit, usually a lot of it's taken from the back. But I also have Velcro on the wings itself. And the reason why is when you put your harness down, you want to secure this in its place. Which, I see people who put harnesses on, and they're traveling all up and down their backs. So and they want to put shields on them and have them magnetized, like this one has the magnet on it. It's not good for you. It's going to actually seriously hurt you if you do this. Okay, so use some common sense about this. And I'm sorry if I sound kind of angry, but people don't realize they're actually hurting themselves with these things. They're breaking their harnesses because they're putting too much pressure in the wrong place. This belongs up here, and it needs to be sealed there. So you want to use the Velcro and put it on the harness itself and seal it in place like so. Okay, so now that we have the harness in place, more Velcro goes into the armpits. And that allows the harness to stay in place all the way around. So you get a nice crisp look. Because as you can see, when I'm putting this harness in, nothing about this looks frumpy. Nothing about this looks incorrect. In fact, if anything, it looks pretty close to me. Now, we continue with Velcro because Velcro, again, is used on the outside of the shirt. You didn't think we were supposed to tuck this in, did you? Because by tucking it in, it gives it a frumpy, sort of, you know, disheveled look that never looks good. In this case, you're going to take your belt, which in this case is the same maker as the harness. You're going to install Velcro on the back of it as well, because all you do is line it up, put it in place, and it looks amazing. Not just that, it frees up your movement. Because if you had this thing tucked into your pants, the thing would be bubbling up all over the place and looking terrible, and you'd be really, really hot. One more thing about the power of Velcro is that if you do have a magnetic harness and it's Velcro to the front and back, there's no pressure on the front of your body at all. In fact, this is incredibly comfortable now versus having it pull on your back and you know, make you feel uncomfortable. Use Velcro. In the next chapter, we transform the glove they give us with Cosplay Sky into something a little closer to the movie. Stay tuned.